What's going on y'all? Rob Anderson, Delmarva Christmas Lights, Clean Power Wash. Um, so apparently three years ago today is when my Clean Power Wash logo was finalized. Um, you guys have seen it on a million things, it's right here on the shoulder. Um, and now we've got our Delmarva Christmas Lights logo as well. So I want to talk about the importance of that in branding and marketing and your overall advertising strategy. Uh, first and foremost, when you're early on, understand that if you do get a logo, it, it's not necessarily going to be your logo for life. If it is, that's great. Um, but I, I definitely would not recommend, you know, when you're first starting out to, to drop $300 or $500 on a logo. Um, we're quite frankly with 199 or 99 designs, which still costs about 300 bucks for the Christmas lights logo. Pretty good setup there. Um, but we went through, I think, three different logos, uh, maybe four um, kind of names and logos and designs and stuff as we've grown the business. And now we're to the point where that logo is not changing, period. We, we might make a tiny revision some point in the future, I don't know, um, or a square version, but love the logo, it meets the branding, um, takes care of the whole color, the theme of Maryland and everything. Uh, we could create a, a Delaware version of it uh, if need be, um, if we grow that division that much. But by having a logo and then being able to put it on you know, your lawn signs, your business cards, your um, your vehicle lettering or magnets. We're getting some lettering done this week um, for two of our trucks. It all helps to bring that person that sees your logo 800 times between your truck and your business cards and seeing you all over Facebook or social media in other ways or um, seeing your trucks run around town. You know, when, when I see, and I know right now we just have business magnets on here, um, it, it's still somebody seeing that logo so that when they go searching and they see 10 companies, or really it's only that top three that shows up anyways, um, seeing a familiar logo, a familiar face as it were, um, makes a dramatic difference there because then it's just one more thing that gives them more familiarity and increases that likelihood of hiring you to do the work. Um, which is, quite frankly, we're just trying to sway people a tiny bit. You're not trying to convince somebody to go from Democrat to Republican. You're just trying to get them to choose the, uh, the name that they recognize the most. So, certainly after you've gotten your stuff established, you've figured out your business name, um, you know, we were originally Docs and Dex Pressure Washing, uh, which became Queen Power Wash. It was probably Rob's Power Washing when I was like 15 or 16 or whatever. Um, and just also when you're, when you're coming up with that name, um, you know, and, th and there's going to be lots of thoughts with it. I mean, certainly the last name, I could have been called Anderson Power Wash. I'm sure there's a hundred of those. Um, but with, with what we did, I wanted to make it nice and simple. Some people will do more elaborate and give them more versatility. Um, Hayden Simonis, he's got little giant pressure washing, little giant holiday lights, little giant, whatever. So it works with that. Cause it, it's nebulous. Dave Carroll, lion's share, lion's share, Christmas lights, lion's share, maintenance, lion's share, power wash, lion's share, window cleaning that gives more flexibility there. That's why we had Delmarva Christmas lights and clean power wash. Um, it gives us a distinct break between them and clean power wash Christmas lights. Uh, just doesn't really ring a bell on its mouthful to say. Um, so guys, keep in mind again, where you are in your stage of business, but also I would recommend it and it's very helpful to get your marketing pieces going. Um, with a good logo. Um, again, we've used Fiverr, did a, um, quite frankly, a, a crap job. Um, and then we got onto using, you know, we had KBK did our 
main logo did the clean power wash logo and then 99 design for our um, Christmas lights logo. Anyways, have a great day guys. See ya.